Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have another Americhon AL572 in for repair. So I'm going to go through it and fix everything. Got some sticky stuff here. It wasn't packed that well, but it survived. Um, did not go uh, to a FedEx office to be packed. Customer didn't have one near him, so... I'll go over some of the stuff I see. Grids are not grounded. I will ground them. I got discharge tubes. Remove this modification Ameritron did. It's not needed. The gas discharge tubes. It's to help protect the bias circuit. So take that out. I will check all the components over here for the dynamic bias. Customer said he had tubes flash multiple times. So one of the straps is kind of frayed, so I'll replace all four. SO239s need to be replaced. See the output one, like no grip at all. So I replace both whenever I re whenever one needs to be replaced. I'll clean the relays with deoxy gold, gold uh, rotor switches with deoxy gold. Put a longer screw in the plate choke, and uh, I'll go over everything else when it's all done. I check the meter protection diode. I check the air variable cap on the plate side looks good. Tighten up on hardware. Touch up on solder joints. It's a lot of tedious little things, so I'm going to get to work, and I'll see you guys in a bit. So the grids are grounded. I always go through the double-sided board. It has foil on both sides, so I solder the lead in both sides. And then also to the connection for the one grid pin per socket. Added the two gas discharge tubes, one per side of the filament, one there, one there. Wire had some insulation damage, so I put some heat shrink over it and soldered it. See heat shrink on it and resoldered everything. Compressed the socket clips. Here are the old resistors. These are the screws for the plate. Here are the old caps. Actually, three of the resistors. I must have dropped one and one of the caps also. It's around here somewhere. So I'm going to get back to work and I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Oh, here's the old, old screw also. Really short screw. Stay tuned. Okay, so I changed the two SO239 connectors. Haven't checked the dynamic bias circuit yet, but here's that cap. They added that at uh, some point to help uh, protect the dynamic bias, and then after that, they started doing the gas discharge tubes, and sometimes they continued to add this, but it's not needed with the gas discharge tubes. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to get back to work. See you guys soon. Okay, so I'm back here with the completed Ameritron AL572. I'm going to go over everything I did real quick. I already showed you below the tube sockets, took care of all that stuff. Showed you the electrolytic cap I took out, it's no longer needed. Now that was damaged. Placed the SO239s, placed three components in the dynamic bias circuit. There are three of the old grid loading resistors and the four ceramic disc caps. I don't know where the fourth resistor went, it's right here somewhere. So, installed new straps for the parasitic board, longer screw, base of the plate choke, here's the old one, clean the input rotary switch with deoxygold. gold, output rotary switch plus band switch with deoxygold. gold, all of the screws, there are two screws per air variable capacitor for the plate and load, they were all loose, tighten those up nice and tight, the nuts were, act were also loose. This one here, one over here, and this one. So tighten those up. Clean the TR slash bias relay with the gold. Clean the soft start relay with the gold. See the new SO239s from Max Gain Systems. Great company over there. The new components, new thermal grease, nice and tight. diode over here is good so that's about it if you need an amplifier repaired feel free to give me a call oh yeah also got a brand new set of pentalab tubes and of course tested it in all bands and I provided a video of it working to the customer so one other thing I always tell people to bring to a FedEx office have them do a foamy place fragile pack I guess he didn't have a FedEx office near him and people did a horrible job packing it just a horrible job and 
you had a little bit of damage in the back, just bent just a little bit, you barely notice it. It's the back panel where it meets the uh, bottom chassis part. So, when things come FedEx office, when they pack it, foam it, place fragile pack, I usually don't have any problems. If anything, it's something minor, you know, but as long as they use the right box and they pack it right. So, that's about it. Need amp repaired? Give me a call. Need a Harbach kit? Go on my site, harbachelectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. 73.